Hello friends, welcome back. My name is PK. In this video, we will explain you our new product which is hospital management system in Microsoft Excel. So I have downloaded this hospital management system from my website and after downloading this first you need to unzip it. So just right click and click on extract all. Extract. So we have another folder in the downloads and now we will right click on the file and we will go to the properties and first thing we will unblock this because we are using the BBA. Apply and OK. Now just double click to open this file. So the file is opened and this is the login page wherein we have to enter the user ID and the password. So the username I'm putting here admin1 password abcd small case and now just hit the enter. This is our main page or the landing page and on the top left corner we have minimize button you can simply click here then this tool will be minimized and you can work on the excel as well. And you can just click again to maximize this now this is again in the maximize position. In the center we have this list box wherein we are showing the data. This is the patient data and you can see how many patients are currently admitted in the hospital. On the top we have given some filters like if you want to see the data for all period you can check this otherwise you can uncheck this and you can use the calendars from here to change the date range start date and date. And you can also filter the data using these fields like by patient name, by address, by gender, age, room number or the bad number, okay, or by the blood group also. Let's say I'm putting here A plus A positive and just refresh. So I'm getting the patient for the A positive, okay. Similarly, you can select using the other also. Next is the sort by so if you want to sort this data let's say by the patient name or by gender or by age you can simply select that column and click on the ascending order or the descending order data will be sorted accordingly okay and you can select the id also and data will be sorted accordingly you can see that now the next button is to add new patient so as a new patient will come to the hospital you can just admit that patient using this plus button here you need to input the patient information let's say i'm putting some patient name as jack then the admission date by default it will be today's date however you can change using this calendar now put some address so i'm just putting some test address for now then select the gender so let's say i am selecting here male then age let's say i am putting here 30 then room number or the bad number let's say i am putting here 45 some random then blood group i am just selecting any blood group from here then emergency contact name the person name you can put here the name let's say i am putting pk then the number i am putting some dummy number here then the primary doctor assigned to that particular patient you can select from here we have created some random list but you can manage this list using this plus button just click here you can just delete any uh, doctor from here or you can add new doctor so let's say i'm putting here new doctor as raj and just add that doctor raj has been added into the list now if i select this list is not giving the correct result so i can simply click here to refresh this drop down list now you can see it is up to date so let's select this doctor and because we will not put here discharge date because this is a new patient for now so let's submit so as we have submitted we can see that new patient is appearing here if we select that patient we can see the billing information for that patient patient name bill value payment deposit balance amount and billing status is not clear so this is new patient right so we don't have any bill information for now once you have entered that information and if you want to edit or update that information you can simply double click here that form will be opened again and if you think okay by mistake you have put incorrect blood group you can simply select a new blood group and submit it again then you can see that new blood group is added 
okay so that is how you can update using double click or alternatively you can click on this button also after selecting that record okay the same information will be popped up now if you want to delete whole information for any of the patient you can simply select that patient and click on this delete button so that record will be deleted for that patient make sure once you delete the patient information you, you can't retrieve it now once patient is admitted in the hospital using this plus form then you can start the medicine so you can add the medition details just select that patient record and click on the add medition details now this form is for the patient medition details automatically the patient information like patient id patient name admission date gender age and the room or bed number will be filled automatically now you can start adding the medicine so we have given here product name or the medicine name we have just put some medicine name default but you can change it as you want so you can select any medicine from here and you can just click on add that medicine will be added so i'm just clicking on add so you can see that medicine has been added and the invoice value will appear here we have given the kit option also we have created few kit kit is nothing but just a group of medicines so if you think one type of patient you want to give a complete kit so you don't need to add the product one by one you can just select any of the kit and just click on add so all products available in that kit will be added automatically and the kit name also appearing that is indicating you have selected the kit here so that is the reason it is appearing okay and uh, once you have added the product and you want to add more product and but you are not able to find here in this list you can just click on this find button so here you can type the product name so let's say i'm putting here cc and just search so all the related to cc product is appearing let's say i'm selecting this one as you click you can see the available stocks also okay so you can just click on this plus button so that is filled here in this combo box and just click on add you can see this is filled here okay now once it is filled then you can submit this just click on submit and mm -hmm. this information will be added to the billing of this customer let's select it again you can see the bill value is this one and the balance is this one there is no payment deposit so far okay and if you want to add more medicine on next day or after some time then you can select again and you can just click on add medicine detail so these are the medicine which we have already added you can start adding more just click on add and submit done and just close then again select you can see the bill value has been increased okay let's select this click again and if you want to generate the invoice for that particular patient then you can fetch this information into the excel just click on this export to excel button so that information will be exported to the excel now this information you can use for the billing purpose or the invoice purpose so you have to create the invoice separately this tool will give you this information only now once you have added some medicines for the particular patient then you can collect some advance payment also so just select that patient and click on the payment information now from this form you can just input the payment information automatically it will fill the patient id patient name and the payment date will be today's date but you can change it from here let's say i'm collecting 1000 amount and the payment may mode you can select let's say cash card upi check whatever so let's say i'm putting here cash and you can change this list also using this plus button if you want to add more type of payment just add more so let's say i'm putting cash you can put uh, any remarks if you want if this is a final payment then you can check this update billing status as clear otherwise don't check it just submit so this is the payment which is appearing here for this patient okay now we can close this and we can see the billing status again so the bill value is this one the payment deposit this one the balance is only this one
okay and this is not clear now once you discharge this payment uh, patient using this edit button or double click you can just uh, input the discharge date and the remarks and submit then you can collect the final payment and uh, let's say i'm saying the final payment is remaining 31.88 and uh, just check this and submit so this is the final payment and the balance is zero and uh, this is clear you can mark the payment status clear from here also if you forget to select this one on that point of time then you can just click here mark billing status as clear so that is that will be marked as clear okay using this export to excel you can just export the data available in that list box to the further analysis in the excel or in other tool now let me show you this navigation pan also here we have multiple buttons the first button is the user management from here you can manage the users who can logged in into this system you can put the username password and the role okay so let me give you one let's say i'm putting here pk and the password i'm putting one two three four the role i'm putting let's say user and submit so that user is created next time i can use this username and the password which i have put to logged in into this tool next one is the payment information to update the payment for any patient you can select that patient you can click on payment information so you can see the historical payment also here and then you can add more payments for that particular patient then the product master here you can add the products or the medicines or the other medical equipment or anything which you want to add and you have to add the product name purchase price mrp minimum stock label and the remarks also okay then we have created few kits also and uh, these are almost 27 kit so you can select any kit and there will be some default products or the medicines and the quantity also okay you can change them as you want now next is purchase so once you purchase the medicines or the other equipment from some supplier and you keep it in your medical store of the hospital you can add the information from here just select the product and purchase price and the quantity which you have purchased remarks and then you can submit that you can see the data using these filters and uh, you can update also any information by just double click or you can delete any record from here also okay and this is export to excel the next one is the manage list so anywhere we are using the list in this tool we can see this information so let's say i want to add one payment mode you can select here and add the payment mode then next one is very important which is report so using this button you can fetch the report of the inventory purchase by selecting the dates or the payment by selecting the dates and the patient information so let me show you first inventory report just click and get report this is the inventory report generated and it has highlighted in yellow which are to be ordered basically available stock is less than minimum stock label so it has to be ordered immediately then we have few red also which is out of stock that means stock is zero so we have to order immediately okay so you can see all this information you can filter also using this status like i want to see only out of stock all so these are out of stock or i want to see so these are to be ordered all right so anytime you can see the inventory information and now let me show you the other reports also the purchase report so whatever you have purchased during these dates you can just select or if you want to change the date range you can change it using the calendar also and just get report so this is what we have purchased we can see here the information then let me show you the payment information also just click on get report so we just have added these payment these two we just have added and this is one old one and uh, we can see the amounts also so this is what we have received during these days
then the next one is the patient information just click on get report so on the basis of admission date we are getting the patient information also okay and you can see the status also whether it is discharged or not this all information all right friends then we have two more buttons that is email us it will show our email id and you can use the cat more tool it will take you to our website from where you can purchase more tools so friends that's it in this tool and you can just click on log out to log out this tool friends i hope you have enjoyed this video if you like this video please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel to get the regular update of my videos thank you so much for the watching